Hello everyone, this is Chris from CNL Farms and I uh, just wanted to give everybody an update on uh, the hydroponic system. Uh, it's doing really well. I'm in the process right now of trying to finish up the last couple uh, rows of troughs. As you can see, I finally got them into the uh, main drain and I've got 10 more to go. Well, eight more to go. And uh, then I'll be finished. It's just a matter of hooking up the water lines to the end of the troughs after I put the lids on. And we'll get these planted off. Um, other than that, I mean, the hydroponic system, because of the winter time, is doing well. You know, the plants are doing really well. Uh, they're finally starting to grow. We've had some warm days lately. And, uh, the warmer it is, a little bit more sunlight helps the plants to uh, actually, you know, start growing again. Uh, if it's too cold, uh, they typically don't do a whole lot of growing. But uh, right now, as you can see, the uh, this is mainly Salanova, I believe. It's a red butter and a green butter, and there may be some summer crisp in there. Uh, these are doing well too. They were all planted at the same time, so we've got about. 400 heads of lettuce here uh, right now uh, there's a few spots where they didn't where they died but you know not a big deal I'm not too concerned about that these are actually doing the best um, they're almost twice as tall as all the other ones uh, but it's fine they'll all grow eventually uh, a lot of these are magenta and mirror and there might be a sprinkling of some salanova in here but I think most of the Salanova is on that side. Um, so if you look at the DWC here, we've got a lot of spinach and kale growing. I had to turn the radio down, it's a little loud. Uh, the spinach is doing really well. Uh, basically, I just planted it in these uh, net cups. Uh, it was actually started in a plug tray with a uh, peat base soil and you can see it's got some really nice healthy roots on there I'm very happy with that uh, we've got uh, if you can see down in there I don't know if you can see that but uh, there's bubbles down there from the air stone or the air pump uh, Swiss chard is doing okay Swiss chard typically doesn't do that well in the winter time uh, it does a little better inside a greenhouse but it's it's also slow growing all of this is slow growing but, you know, I'll be able to get a little bit of spinach off of here. Uh, we have some kale that's doing really well. Uh, when I planted it, it was about that size. That's not very big, but that's the only one that's still that small. Um, but we've got a pretty good stand of uh, kale going here. And I uh, got a new air pump. This air pump is really nice. It puts out a lot of air. And I think that is contributing to the growth because before I had any air in this system and it was just mainly going off of you know the agitation of the water as it drained back into the tank uh, what we ended up with was really 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 slow growth and after I added the air all of this lettuce you know out there started just really growing uh, so it does really well I mean it does get cold in here in the winter time uh, when it's really cold outside but um, I think I've come out here when it was, you know, in the upper 20s and it was still about 33, 34 degrees inside the greenhouse. And a lot of that has to do with the water, the amount of water that's in this DWC that's helping to stabilize. Um, I do have plans to uh, put some water barrels in uh, at some point just to add a little bit more, uh, you know, safety uh, for keeping the greenhouse a little bit warmer uh, so when the sun does come up in the winter time if it's still below freezing outside but we have a sunny day uh, then it will heat up in here pretty good uh, and then maintain that overnight from the uh, the amount of water that's in the uh, the whole system so just wanted to give everybody an update um, you know I'm not a YouTube guy I just I just enjoy farming and I just enjoy gardening and, and growing things and uh, you know going to the farmers market and sell these products 
I have a lot of customers that love the lettuce. I have a lot of customers that love everything that I'm growing here, including the microgreens. So, you know, it's it's really a passion for me. Uh, it's it's important for me to uh, get out here and do something instead of just sit around on the computer and play video games or or whatever. So, you know, if you like the channel and you want to see, you know, just what's going on on the farm, there's probably not going to be a lot of uh, how-to videos or you know how to plant this how to grow that you know but they'll definitely be at least tours of what's growing and I'll give you insight on how it's growing for me problems that I've had uh, but you know that's about all that I'm going to be able to really do um, I try to do these videos in one take you know five six minutes uh, right now so you know if you enjoy them you know subscribe to the channel hit that you know like the videos I mean that really helps me to know that there are people out there um, you know we're slowly growing uh, there's you know we've started out with only you know maybe six uh, subscribers uh, about a year ago and you know we've got over a hundred now and you know that means a lot to me and I really appreciate everybody that has uh, subscribed to the channel and you know just watches these videos uh, you know there's there's just a little bit. I mean, you can do this. Anyone can grow produce. Anyone can grow vegetables. Um, you just have to get out there and do it. You know, just give it a try. You know, build a simple raised bed. You only need three boards, three eight-foot boards, and cut one in half and then screw those together into a rectangle and fill it with, you know, potting soil or some type of uh, compost and uh, peat moss and maybe some... Uh, you know cow manure or you know some of that black cow manure uh, something like that just to add some nutrients and you know go buy some plants or start some plants from seed and put them in the ground uh, you know it's it's really not hard a four by eight uh, little raised bed you know will give you enough produce over the course of a season if you keep at it and you keep it watered and you pay attention to what's happening with your plants and you harvest when you need to harvest you know you'll get a lot for one person, that's enough basically to feed one person, you know, year round if you keep it full of the vegetables that you like to eat. So give it a try, you know, get out there and just do it. Uh, you know, if, if you're local to me and you want to come out and see the farm, you want to see what's going on, or you, I'd be happy to show you around. I'd be happy to just give you, you know, some insight on how, how you can grow stuff at home. You know, it doesn't cost anything for you to come out here and, t and just look at what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I'm not the greatest farmer in the world, but I, I really do, you know, enjoy doing what I do. So, uh, like I said, you know, hit that, that subscribe button, you know, hit the notification bell so you know when I post a new video. And, you know, I just, I look forward to seeing more people on the channel and, you know, more comments, ask questions. I'd be happy to answer those questions. So this is Chris from CNL Farms. Uh, really appreciate it. Have a good day. God bless.